Figure, released. Good thing. Let's check out the review. So the Champ has arrived, and that's pretty obvious because the packaging of this box says the Champ is here. Now, excuse me as I open the packaging. It's still the old school style packaging. They haven't updated it yet. So it's super easy to take out. Just toss this up, take out the belts. Just want to point out that this belt does spin. So if you were hoping that it was a spinner belt, it is. Does this belt spin? No. I think we were ripped off big time. I'm going to request a refund. Looking at this figure in the attire, he comes in. I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed. I think the most disappointed I am is the face scan because I don't think Mattel has ever given us a John Cena face scan that really reads John Cena. And the way that they just did his hair, just painting at the top, makes him look like uh, Ethan from from H3 Productions. It, it, it's not really doing much for me. The attire is good, but it's very basic. They didn't need to do much of it. And I'm surprised that this is like a, a Toys R Us exclusive wasn't included in the actual Elites because they love putting out John Cena's. I think they could have done something with that and just put him out as a basic Elite. If he costs more via this exclusive line. I'm going to say that's unfair because he does come with two belts, but that's it. And I remember the defining moments. John Cena came with the two belts and cloth clothing. It costs $5 more. Maybe this costs $22. I'm not exactly sure. So maybe it's a, it's a value, but the lack of paint on the head is really bothering me. And prediction wise, based on the comments I've got previously, people will say, doesn't matter, but uh, if I'm paying 22 bucks for a figure, I'd like to see a little more work done to it. Articulation, this is John Cena, so he can be articulated well. It's Mattel's vintage Elite series, so you can't get the feet to move. And he does ab crunch, and uh, gosh, I really don't know how they could make like a good John Cena face. I think it's because his eyes are really difficult to do on a figure, and... This doesn't read John Cena personally for me. I don't know who it reads, but it's weird. It's a weird figure, honestly. But the belts are a nice inclusion. It's always nice to get old school belts. And don't get me wrong, this is a nice figure, nice attire, but I think the face is definitely letting it down. From the camera angle, where I'm looking at it right now, it, it looks pretty good, but in person, it, it looks more like contemporary John Cena than young John Cena. And I wonder if we will see this head. Or if we've already seen it. I have no idea. It could be a reuse. And I'm just out of my mind. So overall, not the greatest figure ever, but it gets the job done and it comes with two nice accessories. So if you get it on sale, if they do a sale on these, pick it up. But don't get it at retail price unless you really want it. This is Tommy hoping this review was informative. Hallelujah! It's your boy Tommy! Live from the 1K special over 1K video.